Hey everybody, I just was working on something here and thought this would be uh, nice for a quick tip just to post. Um, so if you've ever been working with sub-D models and you're trying to add in detail, um, you know, so like for example, I've got these details here in the uh, in the base of this joystick. And um, in order to get those in there, here let's hop over to the model view where I've got wireframe. Um, you have to add in more edges, okay? But as you add in more edges, sometimes uh, as you're working on the model, things kind of happen. And so you can see here we've got this general well, lumpy wonkiness uh, through here, all right? And there is the problem that we want to have this clean and smooth, but we still want to be able to have all of the space that uh, that we need for detail. Now, you could use something like Mesh Fusion and just cut these into a perfectly smooth base, but uh, sometimes it's uh, it's more beneficial to have something actually modeled in here. And in this case, I wanted to have these modeled in, but I want to be able to also have this clean through here. So let's look at how we can clean this up. So what I'm going to do here is, you know, if I didn't have these divots in here, let's just say this geometry is going cleanly around, um, all it would do would be to just really reduce the poly count. So let's uh, make sure I select the right mesh here, and I'm going to go to edges, and I'm just going to select all of these edges through here, because those are the ones going all through that base section. And let's press L to get a loop, and if we just kind of ignore that part back there, we just hit delete, and, you know, there we go. We've got something that's nice and clean and workable. But when we wheel around here, uh, look what's happened to all our detail. We've um, knocked out edges here. We've got something funny going here. We've got all sorts of weird end guns. Overall, not working for us. So let's go ahead and undo that. Um, and let's see how we can clean this up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just select the, uh, the loop up until one polygon before my... Um, my details come in here. So I'm just going to deselect that there. And then on the other side, same thing. I'm going to deselect this here. And then I'm just going to go in here real quickly. I, you could do this with, um, you know, with like a lasso or something. If you just kind of right mouse around through there. You could do something like that if you want. But anyway, just deselecting all of those um, extra edges through there. Okay, so all we have now selected are the edges that don't contain any of our detail and up to including one extra little buffer row of polygons, which is going to be important here in a second. So what I'm going to do, just to just to kind of speed this along, is we're going to go ahead and just hit delete. So now, voila, we have our answer. We have nice smooth through here. We still have our detail here, but look what happens. We've got these horrible n-gons. And n-gons are okay in and of themselves, but when they're on complex, smooth surfaces, they can often cause rendering issues, artifacts, all sorts of stuff like that. Like, if I hop over here and we look at this, even in our just advanced OpenGL view, oops, which isn't working. So here, let's hop over to our render view. Uh, if we look at this in our render view, um, we'll see that um, that we'll get some kind of weird bits that's just not quite working here. And especially if we get an area of reflection, you can sometimes see some divots and some weird stuff like that. And so we don't want to leave these big um, these big gaps of n-gons like that. Okay, so let's look at a way that we can very quickly clean this up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this loop here, and you can see I've got the entire loop selected just by pressing L, and it goes right up into the end gone. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loop slice through this, and since I'm loop slicing through a very simple, straight loop of polygons, all it's going to do is add in uh, those edges without disturbing this bit here. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got nine edges because that's how many I took out. Um, and now we've got an even worse problem because we've got this end gone now with some starring and it's looking even worse. So no problem. Let's go ahead and select that. Control X. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. Control X. And I'm just going to double click on the open loop. Deselect the top and the bottom. Run the bridge tool and click. And there we go. Do the same thing over here. Double click to get the loop. Deselect the top and the bottom. Run the bridge tool. Click and we're done. So there we go. Now we've got a completely cleaned up mesh. We've got the polygon flow really nice and smooth and even through this section here that we want to be nice and smooth and even, but we still have all of our details in place where they need to be. We haven't disrupted anything, and we've just used that buffer row of polygons that ended up being one big end gone on each side in order to clean up and patch the geometry back together. So Deleting and then reintroducing edges via the loop slice tool can help you to clean up and smooth geometry where unintended wobbliness, wonkiness, and general bumpiness appears. Hope this is helpful. Thanks. See you guys next time.